being recorded. The balance is usually wet, remember? <gasps> oh, what a smart hey, little cookie. Hey, Broken here. Welcome to LA. I'm Broken Hartford, as you know, and this is Avery Free and we're with Sydney. Alrighty, good intro. So, Logan, how was your weekend? Good. How was yours? Um, it was pretty good. It was nice and relaxing. I finally got all my fall stuff in my room, and I'm ready for the Halloween. Well, I still have to get the air conditioner out of my room, then we should be cold. Yeah. Me too. I just unplugged mine last night. <laughs> oh, it's really cold out, guys. Like, it's way too cold out to be, like... Oh, I just hate it. Like, I want, I want like, a, for once, I want a nice fall. So where it's, yes. like, kind of cold, kind of warm. warm. It's nice. You can just <laughs> sit outside and enjoy yourself. Yeah, and then you can, like, watch all the fa leaves fall when you change colors. Yes. You can actually do things outside without, like, having to freeze your literally, off. It literally just went from warm to freaking cold. Yeah, it did. But to be fair, all you need to do is just wear some comfy clothes and then... That is true. That but it, you are right. But like, I still, I'm still wait, like wanting my jeans and my short sleeves. Yeah, my short sleeves. I wasn't really ready for jackets and sweatpants and or anything like that right away. But <sighs> I guess we gotta get the winter stuff out soon. No joke. Did you guys see the fog today? Oh my god! I thought uh, the school was on fire. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody knew the bell rang, Eli. Yeah, Eli. Okay. Must so, have been on the show. So, so tonight Avery goes and plays Castlewood. What's your prediction? How are you feeling on this? Well, I'm gonna say this for now because, well, yeah, last week. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, I think I think we can do it. If we put it together, if we get our crap. things, yeah, if we get our crap together, we can do it. Uh, I think any team can do anything if they yes. really, like, yeah. work together as a family, and we need to find that family bond again, and I, I think we can do it. Oh, yeah. What's up, Logan? So, I'm going to job some Mr. Otto. Or you're you're going to job shadow Mr. Otto, you yeah, said? Yeah, you are pure teacher. Oh, Mr. Mr. Wenzel? Wenzel? Yeah. Oh, really? That's pretty cool. Yeah, the game tonight. Uh, first day. On Thursday? Oh, that's pretty cool. That's actually really cool, Logan. I'm when? sure you'll have so much fun. Hey, by telling me when the game starts. Um, what time, so what time does he want you there? What if you, are you just doing like one game or are you doing, going to be there the whole entire time? I haven't found, figured that out yet. Well, then maybe I would ask him. Yeah. Maybe one game could be good. I mean, to be fair. Probably the varsity game. Yeah. Um, the varsity game normally starts at seven. seven. Alrighty. So after school. Yes. Yes. As after school, I'm sure. So seven p.m. Yes, but I would ask him to make sure. Alrighty. Does Miss Johnson know you're job shadowing him? Yep. Oh. I'm sure. Does he know you're job shadowing him? Yep. Sweet. Do you know you're job shadowing him? <laughs> boy, yeah, boy, I do know. I'm a girl. Are you, where are you job shadowing, Sid? Um, so I plan on going to job shadow Kathy. Um, she's a speech therapy specialist. Um, <laughs> but I plan on job shadowing her next weekend. And then I also plan on job shadowing. <laughs> I can't with this face. Okay. Let's have a every single time. <laughs> I will put it back out when I'm done talking. But I cannot do it with my voice. I also plan on doing like some dental assisting or something like that. But oh, that's really cool. And Clark or yep. something. <laughs> what about you, Avery? Um, I want to go to KSFY and do... Um, like watch their weather people do all their things but I'm I'm more interested in the science behind like meteorology rather than like the person up there talking and yeah. like showing you where the weather's going I mean don't get me wrong that would be really fun and that that could be maybe something I do want to do but I mostly want to like predict the storms do the calculating yes. and do all the math find it yeah I think that would be really cool and especially uh, like I know it's like not common for people to have like meteorology Hey, like who's jobs fine to do, turn off? Or something like that, but I think it'd be really huh. fun to do something that I've always been interested in. Maybe see if like I want to yeah. continue that as a career. Definitely. So. Hey, uh, can you 
two, three. Oh, thank you. Um, Logan, are you just gonna job shadow Mr. Wenzel? Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Are you gonna get your eight hours in, or? Are you... How long is the game? Well, I feel like if you were, it's definitely not eight hours. I'll tell you that. But I don't know. It, usually they're about like four hours long. Yeah. Cause they start like around like four and around like depends who you're playing. Alrighty. Just really depends. I honestly think you should go there for like the junior high games and the throughout the whole virus. I think you should go for all three games. I also so then you can get the full experience and you can get more hours. You know what I mean? And then you can and just be done for it. Yeah. Um. When does the game start? The, the junior fun? the junior high game. Yeah. So normally those ones start around like five five thirty. It just really depends. Four forty five. Just it depends, but. I'm sure as the game gets closer, Ms. Johnson Actually, will tell you. Actually, Ipswich doesn't have a junior high, high game. So you'd probably want to be there around like 6. six. Uh, buddy. Maybe 5.30. Just maybe so he can show you other things rather than just like having to be there right away and then like, you know. He doesn't I mean? have time to show you anything. Yeah. 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 So I'd be there a little earlier. Oh. We have school off on Monday. Yeah, what we do. do. What are y'all going to do? Um, probably go with my dad hunting, maybe. Um, Grizzo, our golden retriever. <laughs> um, Cindy knows him, personally. I don't like him. He stole my wallet. <laughs> yeah, he did. Literally. Um. Wait, what? It's gonna be, yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be one of his, like, Six, uh, last, it, it's a long story. Yeah, we'll tell you the story after. Yeah. Anyway, so, um, Grizzo, our golden retriever, he's two years old now, and last year it was his kind of first experience, like, kind of doing everything, just following the hunters around, and um, we're trying to, like, get him to retrieve birds, and he's, like, during, like, our practi practice sessions, he's doing pretty good, but um, when, <laughs> when we have, like, an actual, like, uh. live hunting, I feel like. Yes. This was his chance to, like, be able to actually retrieve birds and, like, bring them back and everything like that. It kind of makes me jelly, not going to lie, because we have... We, a golden retriever is, like, yes, they're a hunting dog, but they're not known as a hunting dog. Mm -hmm. And a German... Short hair? Short hair pointer is a hunting dog completely, and... Winston. <laughs> we have a German short hair pointer. It's not a hunting dog. Is it's he scared of guns? He's scared of guns. Besides, he loves sniffing out the birds. Like, at yeah. one point, when Winston was just a little baby, he would sniff out the eggs from the pheasants, and he would bring back at least five eggs in his mouth. And he would carry them to his kennel and not break one. So then we would, when Winston went to sleep, or when Winston would accidentally leave one behind, we'd grab it, and then we'd take it to Max, and Max would, like, grow them and hatch them. Sweet. What are you going to do on Monday, Logan? Uh... Probably get more sweet. Do you guys do hunting? Like, do you go pheasant hunting? Well, I used to go hunting, but I we didn't. Well, I guess I be grown out of it. My dad yeah. hunts though, so maybe he can hunt. Yeah, I think it'd be a good experience maybe to go with your dad. Maybe this year, I feel like it'd be really fun. Yes, like one of those father-son bonding times. You know what I mean, Logan? Yeah, yeah, I understand. If not, the old maybe. man is. <laughs> well, he's definitely crappy sometimes. Yeah, I think every old man is. But yeah. maybe you should ask Uriah. I'm sure Uriah and Chris would take you out hunting. Yeah, I, well, that's the thing. I don't know where Chris is home, so oh. to be fair. That's yeah, fair. So to be fair, uh, you might say he's not here yet. That's mm -hmm. fair. Um, yeah, because pheasant opener season is this weekend. That reminds me, I need to remind my dad to get our license so we get you. Oh, what a world. Legal. I can. Um, me and my mom had to cook. <laughs> cook for the hunters. I don't do that. Last time the Oregon boys came back because they come all the way back from Oregon, I had freaking COVID. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. And then they broke a chair that I already broke. <coughs> they thought they broke a chair. It was Avery. Yeah, I did. Uh, it was pretty funny. No, no. <laughs> and then, did you break two or one? I broke one chair. Um, what are you doing over there? Uh, oh. <laughs> I'm 
take the time back. That was much more long. <laughs> if we, and I thought that the one was connected to our mic, such that I got the number two and all that. Yeah. Um, number two. He's green. So he's green. If you don't want to change my voice, you can do it green. Turn up a funny organ. It's to be a sound speaker. Chipmunk on helium. A chipmunk on helium? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a freaking evil witch. Witch? To be a sound speaker. A human in a video game. A human in a video game. I'm gonna fuzz all the odds. Ah, I think you really need to turn down your brain. Okay, then let me turn it down really quick. Logan. <laughs> <laughs> Logan, if we're gonna get into real talk. I, I just shut off the microphone. <laughs> I need to ask you a serious question, Logan. <laughs> What's your favorite color? Uh, space. Did he just say spice? Yes, he just doesn't say space. <laughs> <laughs> what? Isn't that funny? Bogan, I feel like every single time I ask you this question, you say space. <laughs> space or spice? <laughs> space. <laughs> uh, when I was able to make her go too fast. Okay, so what's your favorite color? Oh, wait, my microphone's off. Space. Like the space. Like outer space, like stars, galaxies, and everything like that. Yeah, space. <laughs> but that's not one <laughs> color. Like space is technically like all sorts of colors. Yeah, it's like yeah, purple, blue. It's like purple, yeah, blue, black. Right? Like space colors. So space. Oh, so like you purple. like purples, greens, blues. Yeah, basically blacks. that. We know he likes purple because he likes the stinky Vikings. Oh yeah, the Vikings. <laughs> to that, to their win streak. To the what? To their winning streak. When's the last time you watched the Vikings game? Yeah, play. I may not watch their games, but I'm still a Vikings fan and hot. Good. Good. That's so. What team do you like, Avery? Um, I would say... I don't really know. I like the Chiefs, but that's because my grandma likes the Chiefs. But I also like Green Bay. I like the Packers. That's fair. Um, I like either the Colts or the Cowboys because of the Cowboy Cheerleaders. Yeah, I'm literally in Cowboy love cheerleaders. with them. I really like their documentaries. Yes, especially on Netflix. Go watch it. Yeah, and this is Johnson's favorite team is the Cowboys. Yes. Uh, might if I ask you to something? What's, What's up? up? Do you know any Jack Jaguar fans? Jaguar fans? You know the team that never wins? Yeah. So that was the week one. Last night? Last week, I believe. Oh, Who? The Jaguars. I think they did oh. win against, like, the Raven. They did play something. Because I just know last night the Jets. The Jets. I do not like the Jets. I hate the Jets. I hate I the 49ers. I don't <gasps> like the 49ers. Did they play the 49ers last night? I don't know. Oh, yeah, something that was a little bit about football. See you who played football last night? Do you know? The Jets and the Eagles. The Jets and the Eagles. Yeah. What? The Jets and the Bills. The Jets and the Bills. I'm pretty sure the Bills won. No, the... Why don't we Google those? Who won? I watched it. Bills won. The Bills won. The Bills won. Rex Preston. Yep. Um, that's it, because when I went upstairs, the Jets were winning. And I was like, I gotta go. I gotta bounce. I can't watch this, bro. Sydney, oh, you know what we need to do sometime? What? We need to have a sleepover again, and we need to watch the screen movies again. Yeah. And we need to play video games. <laughs> yes. Hey, mind if, I, all night. Hey, uh, mind if I tell you something? What's what? Up? That's this TikTok that cosplays as the teams. I don't mean the mascots, I mean the teams. He just wears the jerseys and acts like the teams. Who? I don't know. Somebody, Elon like, Musk. See, somebody on nah. TikTok? Yeah, somebody on TikTok. How come you viewed my profile? I don't know. You viewed mine. <laughs> Wait, oh, true. Really? Logan has a TikTok account? Yes. yes. He actually posts videos. He's got like 20 on there. 
I don't have 20. About? I don't have about 20. Oh, hey, let me see. Do so I think you two have your phones? No. In my locker. Yeah. Because I'm the only one here who did bring their phone here. Yeah, you never bring your phone to school. What to be fair, I just don't want to get in trouble. That's fair. That's a solid point. Uh, you, but uh, sure. with the way schools have been walking their phones and packages, best grade schools have been more dictators. Yes, big schools, week. they have to put their little phones in these little slips and then they lock them in the morning. And then after school, they, like, you know, like those tags on your clothes that you have to get, like, off? Yeah. That's what they have to do. They have to go up to one of those things, put it on there, and then the case opens. It's crazy. I forgot what it's called. That's uh, weird. It's because people won't get off their phones, but... Um, they do that, like, some, I think they do that in Redfield. Like, they have to put their thing in the phone box, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure in Redfield they, like, have, like, where they put, like... It's almost like shoe holders, but it's not. They put their phone. But personally, me, ain't no... My phone's saying, oh. Yeah, no one's taking my phone. I don't care if it. the school is like, well, your mom can call the office. They can do this. They can do that. Um, no. So if my mom's dead. Yo. She can't call the office and tell her that she's dead? Yeah, exactly. Like, what? And just, like, in a shooting? Not saying that we'd ever get into one, but... You never know. And today's crazy as well. Yeah, you never, never know. Bleep! Anyway. <laughs> Logan? Yes? I'm gonna ask you a serious question here. Okay, what to eat it? What is your favorite show and why? Uh, um, I, uh, did you play a song? <laughs> What's your favorite show, dude? Can you bring? You gotta have one. What the heck are you doing? Hey! She's grabbing her pencils. I don't play much shows often. But, like, what is your favorite? Like, what's a show that you watch that you like? I don't know. I do watch The Mandalorian sometimes. The Mandalorian? Isn't that on Disney Plus? Yeah. What's your favorite show, Sid? Um, right now it's called Fire Country. Mm, I've heard about the. Hey. What's your favorite movie show? Mm, it's not really a show. It's more of like a series of movies. I love Scream. Love, love, love the Scream movies. Oh my they, gosh, I could watch them all day. He, me too. Ah. Uh, and over and over and over. I like Billy Loomis. <laughs> uh, mine did so, uh, you heard the Predator? Predator? Is that yeah, the movie? Yeah, the series. Oh, yeah, the movie series. I've heard, I've heard about it. I know that it's about, like, this alien guy dude thingy, my popper. You heard the Prey? No. It's basically, it's spin off things or a prequel. It's basically a prequel to it. Basically, it takes place during the old times. I'm not so when, but it takes. No, keep going. Keep going. I'm not so when it when it takes place, but I believe it's during the native before the white before the okay. Don't know when the movie when the first movie play movie because. Take place in, but I do know when the second is. It takes place during the Japan, I believe. Not so much era, but during the era of Samurai. Really? Yeah, they're making another, another movie called Sekado. That's cool. I don't know if that's the actual name or, or it has to do with a Japanese name. Do you like scary movies or no? That's why I don't like scary movies, but I've. I had the chance I would try to watch the play movie. Do you like scary movies, Logan? <laughs> That's more funny than scary. Hold on, is it affecting my mic? Do you like scary movies? <laughs> oh. Do you like scary movies? <laughs> no, but like, uh, what's wrong, Sydney? It looks like you see the ghost. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, guys, you know where we're gonna find us 
um, scariest haunted forest, and then we're gonna go to it. It's <laughs> the Buckingham Forest. Yep, yeah, we're going. Isn't that as we go? That's all I know about it. Is it? Oh, what the? Isn't that this week? Bleep. It might be. <laughs> Camera. <laughs> Dang, looks like we're gonna have to go to a scary mo scary thingy. I will cry. I will probably cry. I need somebody <laughs> Can we bring someone strong with us so they can we can like push them. I'm just kidding. Not me though, because I will actually freaking run away. Especially because I hate chainsaws. I am so scared of chainsaws. I will probably go like this the whole time. It would probably like jump on me and tell me. <laughs> probably would. Because it's not that she doesn't like scary things, it's just scary. Well, it's just like, I don't, it's not that I get scared, it's just like, I don't like the feeling of somebody following me with sharp objects. Well, I know they don't have the blade on there, but still, exactly, like, and I'm terrified. That's obviously our mind goes straight to, oh my god, the blade. Yeah, like, I am terrified of the Texas Chainsaw movies. I think it's gross, I think it's nasty, I just, I just can't watch it. Or like the same thing with like Michael Myers Halloween movies. I can't watch them. They're so disgusting and so gross. They're so scary. I can't. Oh. I mean, I can watch them, but I literally cry. Oh my god. What was I gonna say? Even though Scream is literally the same thing, but I just lost after Scream. I went to um this haunted forest in Huron. It was our first year doing it, whatever, and it was in this old sketchy building, kind of down the main drag. It was like off a little bit to the side, whatever. But <coughs> me, Sion. Erica and Caitlin all went in a weird group. Um, but <laughs> we all went, and it was not scary. I walked through the whole thing, besides when I walked outside. <coughs> I was going to hit my car because these guys with chainsaws, they came up to you because, like, they're hiding behind, like, a car or whatever, and then, like, when you walk outside the building, it's like, oh, you're done. And also, nope, these people with chainsaws come running. They chased me until a car almost actually hit me. Um, they chased Carly two blocks. Carly called the cops, and she was like, I need help, I need help, because Carly was freaking out. And they would not stop chasing her after Carly was panicking and said, please stop, please stop. And after that, they got shut down. They had to go home. And then they kept putting, like, even though there was no blade on it, they still kept putting on it, and they wouldn't take it off, so it kind of burns a little bit. They did it to me, and I looked at that guy's face. I said, do that one more time. I'll bleep, 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 punch you up. I was mad. Oh, well, I'll take it there. Don't go to the human haunted house. <laughs> Never go to a human haunted house. It's going to be your worst experience. I feel weird having no lashes on. I look bald. Have you ever gone to a haunted forest, Logan? Uh, no. There's one in Aberdeen you should go to. It's the haunted forest. I really like Aberdeen's because they give you candy after. Yeah, I like Aberdeen's too. Uh. I like the hot chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I think, I know for sure I want to go to Brookings. I know Cameron wants to go to Brookings, and I know you want to go. Yeah. Well, Avery doesn't have a choice she's going. <laughs> <laughs> But I guess if you, like, pee, cry, or poop, you get, like, a sweatshirt or a t-shirt. I wonder, like, where this one was, um, because um, Carly's mom, Misty, I don't know, none of you guys probably know her, but she went to this one haunted forest, and she cried. Cried. And I want to know which one it is. Have you heard of the one where they do all the way in Maine, <coughs> and it's the one where, like, they can actually, like, torture you. Yeah, and you have to you. sign that waiver. Mm -hmm. and they, oh, They tase you and everything, pepper spray. Yeah, and they can, like, cut your hair and stuff. 
It cuts you? Yeah, it's, like, in Maine. And I think. Mm-hmm. Isn't it called, like, the maple something? I should look this up. I don't know. It's something. On my school computer. But <laughs> it's actually scary because when people, like, post about it, they're sitting in these lines surrounded by gates. There's smoke everywhere. There's red lights. And there's, like, a big board that says what it's called. And then it's saying, like, what could happen to you. And then it's, like, not their fault because you signed the waiver. And you could get tase, cut, your hair snipped, the water dumped on you. There's, I don't think I'd go to that one personally. Because I feel like I'd actually have a heart attack. Would you? It's the McCammy Manor. McCammy Manor? Yeah. Yeah. I would you go to it? Yeah. Or would no. you not want to get taste? It's in Tennessee. <laughs> yeah, that's, I don't know why. Why would you do that? Avery, would you? Probably not. So it says it is still open to the public. And during the tour, employees of the manor may physically and assault patrons, water board them, force them to eat and drink unknown substances, and have them bound and gagged and engage in other forms of physical and psychological torture. Patrons also may be drugged during their experience. That's scary. They can't kill you, but they can for sure torture the audio. Yeah, they can. That's really scary. I would never like physically sign myself on a piece of paper saying that you can do this to me. Just exactly. For, just for some fun entertainment. Like that's not. I would rather just go ask a random person on the side of the street to torture me. That's literally like what it is. Yeah, basically. I mean, you don't even know what like they can all do and exactly. like. Exactly. I don't know. I just feel like that's not something that like f- people should be really advertising. And I feel like they should not even have that as a thing. Yeah. Like, it doesn't matter, like, if you have to sign a waiver or it doesn't matter if it's, like, legal because you signed yeah. a waiver. Like, that shouldn't be legal in the first place because that's letting somebody torture you. Like, I've seen this one girl. She signed the waiver, and she was like, yeah, I'm expecting to get, like, tase, whatever. She came out bawling. She had stuff all over her face. Her hair was, like, <laughs> like, it literally looks like they took, like, a right, like, a, what, they cut boy's hair and, like, <laughs> It was like, I would not do that. No, not at all. But I think Logan would. So. Maybe we should sign Logan up. No, 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 no. If you try to sign me up, I'll punch you so hard you'll be, you'll have experience memory loss and feel memory loss and I, I lost. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, no, would never do that. I would never, ever, ever do that. And I would tell somebody. that you were a woman. Anyway, on a great note. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, um, are you guys yeah. excited for science? No. Heck no. Heck no. No, 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 no. I do not like science. <gasps> we have a quiz. Do we actually? Yeah, we yeah, do. Yeah, dude. That's like the quarter grade, too. Yeah, thank goodness I studied. Anyway. So, so y'all, you guys won't be seeing me if you're playing fun. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> Probably not, honestly. Well, we are doing one through three, I think. Yeah, one, two, three. We already did. What? Yeah, we're doing one through oh, three. Oh, the quiz? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were talking about, like, the chapter. I'm like, oh, the fun one. Alrighty, so I think that is it for LNA and our special guest, Cindy Stoner. Um, I hope you guys all have a great weekend, and we'll see you back next week. Adios! Right, bye bye.